The greatest genius of all time, Nikola Tesla, was not only an inventor and, according to popular belief, the real father of the electric age, but also a man with secrets and riddles beyond our wildest dreams. Although Nikola Tesla passed away somewhat unrecognized, his notoriety and the legends surrounding him have continued to soar in our day and age. The concept that Nikola Tesla knew the Great Pyramid's secret and that it contained the key to endless energy to power the world is a well-known theory among the strange obsessions he had. Why was Nikola Tesla so fascinated with the pyramids in Egypt? What exactly did Tesla want the world to comprehend? Let's find out. Nikola Tesla was a Serbian-American inventor, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer and futurist. He is most well known for his involvement in the development of the alternating current AC electric supply system. He was an outstanding scientist who made numerous significant advances in the study of electricity and magnetism. Archaeologists, historians and even renowned physicists like Nikola Tesla were fascinated by ancient Egypt and the puzzle surrounding the building of the pyramids. Fire in the middle is the meaning of the Greek word pyramids. Many people think that the ancient Egyptians had electricity. Scientists were unable to detect any soot traces on the walls or ceilings of ancient Egyptian tombs during the 20th century. This led to the conclusion that rather than oil lamps, another type of light source was employed to create cryptic wall murals. With his contributions to the development of modern technologies like smartphones, Wi-Fi, the AC electrical supply system and more, Nikola Tesla is now regarded as the epitome of the mad scientist. He is considered to have invented modern society. The world was undoubtedly changed by Nikola Tesla's inventions. There are many enigmas and urban legends about him describing some strange technology that Tesla may have invented. Tesla conducted a great deal of enigmatic experiments, but he also remains a complete mystery. Tesla himself was charitable, so when he learned that others were using his ideas, he probably wished them well. Despite the fact that he was famous, he wasn't as famous as he should have been due to the fact that most of the patents were registered by Edison or Westinghouse. Outside the need to survive, his only financial motivation was to spread his views around the world either by himself or by others. Tesla had other interests despite having hundreds of patents. His obsession with Egyptian pyramids, one of humanity's most enigmatic and spectacular structures, was among the strangest things about him. Tesla spent his entire life researching them because he thought they had a higher purpose. What was it about the pyramids that he found so alluring? He questioned whether they weren't massive energy transmitters as he looked at ways to transmit energy wirelessly. Tesla outlined ideas for a number of generators across the planet that would use the ionosphere for energy, gathering in a patent application he submitted in the United States in 1905 under the heading The Art of Transmitting Electrical Energy Through the Natural Medium. He viewed the Earth's two poles as two enormous electrical generators that could produce an endless amount of energy. Tesla's electromagnetic pyramid is the name given to the triangle-shaped pattern he created. According to Tesla, the day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than all the previous centuries of its existence. According to Tesla, the Egyptian pyramids' power was generated not only by their shape, but also by their geographic location. In order to utilize the Earth's energy field, he constructed the Tesla Experimental Station in Colorado Springs and the Wardenclyffe Tower, also known as the Tesla Tower, on the East Coast. The positions were selected in accordance to the principles governing the construction of the Giza pyramids which were based on the relationship between the planet's elliptical orbit and the equator. The design was made with wireless energy transmission in mind. The Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt dates back more than 4,500 years. As one of its most recognizable and enigmatic buildings in the entire globe, its creation and use have sparked much discussion and rumor. 
The Great Pyramid was erected using nearly identical electrical technology to that used to build Tesla's tower, which was also thought to have been built upon aquifers. The systems that produced negative ions and were capable of transporting them without the need for electrical wires, a completely free and wireless energy that powered other electrical components via great distances, were the Great Pyramid of Giza and Tesla's majestic Wardenclyffe Tower. The famed Maya Temple Pyramid at Chichen Itza was discovered to be surrounded by a sizable C-note or sinkhole cave in 2015 by archaeologists and geophysicists from the University of Mexico. The pyramid is also referred to as El Castillo or Kukulkan. Because of its flawless astronomical geometry, it is regarded as one of the new seven wonders of the world. It is linked to nearby lakes and tunnels, according to experts. It is believed that the caverns filling water flows from north to south. Therefore, the Great Pyramid of Giza, Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower and the Pyramid of Chichen Itza all rest atop underground water sources. It is interesting to note that the Great Pyramid of Giza's exterior was covered in white tufa limestone, which was arranged so tightly together that nothing could fit between the stones. It is important to note that the white tufa limestone utilized in the Great Pyramid of Giza's outer casing has excellent insulating qualities and does not contain magnesium. It is thought that the ancient Egyptians were able to completely control the release of energy from within the pyramid because of this advanced insulating feature. Another type of limestone, in addition to the outer casing, was used to make the stone blocks that made up the Great Pyramid's interior. This limestone has small amounts of metals and crystals which are thought to be crucial for maximum power transmission. A conductive insulating cable has properties comparable to those of the Great Pyramid's air shafts, which are interestingly constructed of granite and contain a mildly radioactive material that allows the air to ionize inside. Although the greatest minds are naturally inquisitive, Nikola Tesla's work undoubtedly piqued people's interests. Tesla's love of numbers was another quality. He had an obsession with the numbers 3, 6 and 9. Some claimed he had OCD, while others thought that he was superstitious. He is alleged to have stated, if you only knew the magnificence of the 3, 6 and 9, then you would have the key to the universe. Although there may be references to this comment purporting to be from Tesla around the internet, there is no proof that he ever uttered it. Although there is no confirmation, the facts and things Tesla did in the past make it more likely that he was fixated on these figures, and this leads us to believe that the quotation is true. He would make three passes around buildings before entering them, or stay in hotel rooms whose numbers could be divided by three. He selected other options in groups of three. Perhaps Tesla was simply unaware of the significance of the number three, despite the fact that many other people of this age had a connection to it. It would make more sense to use examples from everyday life, such as the Holy Trinity, God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, as described in the Holy Bible or an atom made up of three subatomic particles, the proton, neutron and electron. The three gods of heaven, earth and the abyss were also prominent in Egyptian mythology. The significance of the numbers 3, 6, 9 was something Nikola Tesla wanted the world to be aware of. He claimed that these were very significant numbers. But why? We must first learn mathematics to comprehend that. Why is everything in the cosmos so diverse, yet mathematics remains the same? The most coveted and powerful topic throughout antiquity has always been math. Wherever 2 plus 2 will always equal 4. In mathematics, a golden ratio is a specific number that is discovered by splitting a line into two segments, so that the longer segment divided by the smaller segment equals the entire length divided by the longer segment. Pi, named for the Greek alphabet's 21st letter, is frequently used to represent it. In many Renaissance paintings and sculptures, the golden ratio was used to achieve harmony and beauty. 
The dimensions of the table as well as the proportions of the walls and backdrops were all determined by da Vinci himself using the Golden Ratio. The Vitruvian Man and Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci both display the Golden Ratio. The Golden Ratio is one of the patterns that naturally occur in the universe. We have also found this pattern in life, galaxies, star formation, evolution, and almost all other natural systems. Having said that, the greatest brains have used mathematics for millennia and it continues to be one of the most essential and powerful languages. The foundation of all inventions is mathematics or numbers. Without it, not even a millimeter can be made in the world. Every single person needs mathematics to get by in daily life. The golden ratio, a geometric pattern, is present in all living things, including plants, animals, and insects. Tesla's obsession with mathematics and numbers had to be motivated in some way. Many examples may be found in nature that show the utilization of threefold and sixfold symmetry, such as the hexagonal honeycomb shape. Interestingly, this symmetry may be seen not only in nature but also in old buildings. The Giza Orion correlation theory is one of the best of them all. According to this theory, the original architects of the Giza pyramid complex were aware of a similarity between the three main Giza pyramids locations and Orion's belt in the constellation of Orion. The ancient Egyptians connected the constellations of Orion with Osiris, the deity of rebirth and the afterlife. The Orion constellation can be completed with additional pyramids, and the Milky Way galaxy can be matched with the Nile River depending on the theory's iteration. The three main pyramids are surrounded by a cluster of three smaller pyramids, bringing the total number of pyramids to six three pyramids that are related to the Orion constellation. Is it a coincidence, or do the numbers 3 and 6 have some other meaning? Is it feasible that these three enigmatic numbers, 3, 6, and 9, have a unique significance? Was the code 369 Tesla's? Is it conceivable that Tesla discovered this important truth and used his understanding to advance science and technology? Edward J. Kunkel hypothesized that the Great Pyramid functioned like a hydraulic ram pump, propelling water up through the structure and the little shafts by variations in air pressure in his 1973 book, Pharaoh's Pump. Engineer John Cadman further refined and verified Kunkel's notion, finding that variations in air and water pressure might cause the pyramid to act as a vibrating pulse generator. The pressure would have risen through granite check valves as water flowed into the underground room via the descending conduit, he claimed, until a vibratory pulse was unleashed. Another example that supports the theory that pyramids might have been used as a power source for some unidentified operation is the instance of Bosnia's ancient pyramids. In general, we don't know exactly why or how the pyramids were constructed. Some even consider them to be constructs that may be producing energy, acting as purposefully placed messengers, or even carrying ancient civilization's codes. We have no idea, but we are certain that it is fascinating. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.